the greatest names in entertainment are coming to Harris Rincon. Tom Jones, Sunday, August 23rd. Larry the Cable Guy, August 28th. Gary Allen, September 11th. Chicken Foot with Queensryche and Davy Knowles, Saturday, September 26th. And Vince Gill, Sunday, October 4th. Grab your friends and get in on the fun. Get your tickets today at Ticketmaster.com or HarrisRincon.com. Race 5 up next begins the $1 pick 4 this afternoon, but first off, we'll get you caught up on the claims we had out of the last two races here. Back in the third race, the beaten favorite number 8, Drumara, went to Bob Hess Jr. for 12-5. That was in a two-way shake. And just in the last race, the winner, number 5, You Turn Me Crazy, taken by trainer Brian Corner. That one for $40,000. Race 5 now on the Del Mar Poly Track at the one-mile distance. It's a field of 10. Scratch out the 11 through 14. Now winners of 2. The tag is 12-5 down to 10. Number 1, Spin sound is the current favorite. Here they are. We'll just go right from the inside out in this field of 10, beginning with a look at the one spinning sound for trainer Patty Gallagher. Had a big win here with the uh, Del Mar Oaks winner Starlarks about a week and a half ago and has had uh, no less than three winners so far at the current stand. Danny Sorensen going to ride back this gelding by Spinning World who is taking a drop in price if not class. I would point out the fact, though, that even though he ran for 25 last time, today in for the 12-5, he was still facing non-winners of two the last time, so perhaps not as massive as a drop in class as you might think just based on the climbing price, but I suppose that's debatable. Still facing non-winners of two and also may have needed that last race. He was off the track from last October until this last July when he ran fourth off the bench in a field of six, so perhaps look for improvement and uh, right now the 5-2 to two choice in this field of 10. Number two, Just Charmed, attempts to give trainer Sean McCarthy two wins on this afternoon's program, also taking a drop. Last time he faced restricted allowance horses, so you could definitely say that this is a slide back in class. And based on recent past performances, looks like a realistic move. He does have some speed right now at 13 to 1 is the deuce. Number three, Treadwells, a big or long shot in here at 14 to 1. Uh, did break his maiden first time out back in April at Santa Anita, but has struggled in a few starts against winners since then. Returns from the Northern California Fair Circuit, where he was the beaten favorite last time for 8,000. Gets the seven pound weight break from Santiago Reyes right now at 14 to 1. Number four is James Pryor. He showed speed and faded at the same class level here, racing on uh, opening weekend. That was the first Sunday of the meet. Was up on the lead that day before fading to finish sixth in a field of nine. When he broke his maiden, he came from just off the pace, so perhaps look for more patient handling today. He makes only his second start against winners, and uh, he is currently getting bet. He was 12 to 1 on the line right now at 6, as bet half for Corey Nakatani and trainer Vladimir Surin. Number 5 is Harleen. Also, trainer Doug O'Neill's got a winner here today so far. They team up this time with jockey Tyler Bays. Harleen has not won a race in quite some time, but his claim to fame came in the Snow Chief Stakes back when he was 3. And Harleen today running for a new low of 10.5, right now at 6 to 1. Next is number 6, Silent Trick. This one out of the barn at Hector Palma. Uh, did win, but was disqualified out of a 12.5 race uh, back on June the 26th, and that's why he is eligible to face these now winners of two restricted claimers. Uh, last time, though, 6th in a field of 10, racing over this track. Kind of a question mark right now at 9 to 1. Number seven is Royal Vision, the son of unusual heat and out of the barn of Barry Abrams. Was up on the lead and faded, much like number four James Pryor in that last race here, July the 26th. But he's done much better from off the pace previously, so look for that right now at 8-1. to one. Number eight, A Big To Do, does not have a tremendous uh, lifetime record, only one for 26, but he did run third last time against similar company. That was also a race right here on this track. Jack Van Berg just gave a leg up to Jose Valdivia. The front bandages are no change. He's worn those for quite some time, right now at 14 to one. Chop House George, the nine, gonna break one from the outside. Uh, his maiden win came some time ago, actually a year and a half. He is unplaced in all of his starts since then against winners, so a big price of 21. And number 10, low gear power. It is no bargain, folks, to break from the 10 hole going a mile at Del Mar, but this might be the one they have to beat. 7-2 to two right now. He ran very well the other day going a mile and a 16 just to get run down late. That was a big effort over the track. You've got Mike Mitchell and Garrett Gomez at 7-2. to two. 13 minutes to post for race 5, which begins the $1 pick 4. Good luck.
horses for the fifth race now coming onto the track. Scratch the also eligibles, numbers 11 through 14.
The horses are approaching the starting gate. The horses have now reached the starting gate. Runners loading in the gate now for the fifth. Spinning sound, the first one to come up. Silent trick going in. Just charmed in the white cap. Treadwell coming forward. Royal Vision has the red cap. A big to-do will be the next one, along with James Pryor in the white blinkers. James Pryor in. Here's a big to-do. Three left to load. Chop House George coming up. Harleen and Low Gear Power will be the last two. Harleen goes up. Low gear power to the outside gate. Goes in. And away they go. Just Charm broke away well. Silent Trek comes out running. Treadwell and James Pryor are right there as well. Chop House George forced to go wide into the turn. Meanwhile, Spinning Sound is down at the rail in the black. Five off the leaders. The pace is decent early. Low gear power races towards the rear, followed then by Harleen, a big to do. And Royal Vision is the trailer. Good 12 off this leader. Three quarters to go and Just Charm taking a hold of the bit and just sprinting away now. Couldn't be going any quicker for the distance. Just Charm just bolting away. Opens up to lead by six lengths now. Chop House George is on the outside. A silent trekker joins second. In behind that comes James Pryor. Then back to Spinning Sound up alongside of Spinning Sound. We drop back here to a big to-do and inside of that comes Royal Vision. They run past the half mile, and in fact, the leader is heading to the three eights. It's just charmed, and just charmed has opened up to lead by nine as they go into the turn. Silent Trek is in second. Chop House George spinning sound on the far side. They followed by Treadwell, who's ridden along. James Pryor just behind the leaders. Then we come back to low gear power, starting a late run now. Royal Vision, a big to do, is also winding up late. They come to the top of the lane and Just Charmed now, very weary on the lead. Just Charmed slowing down noticeably now. In the center, Harleen has come with a big run in the red colors. And it's Harleen going to go on by down on the inside. Low gear power coming with a late run too. And late is Royal Vision. They come for home. Low gear power, Harleen. Low gear power will win it. Low gear power won it. Harleen was second. Royal Vision third. A big to-do. Finish fourth.
the unofficial result. The winner number 10, Low Gear Power. Second number 5, Harleen. Third number 7, Royal Vision. And fourth number 8, A Big To Do. Result is now official. In the sixth race today, scratch number eight, My Tiger's No Sissy. Post times at Now in the winner's circle, number 10, Low Gear Power. He's a three-year-old grey gelding by all the gears out of Breeze Gal. He's owned by Mitchell and Newmarket TR. Winning trainer is Mike Mitchell. The winning jockey, Garrett Gomez. The winner was Britain California by Shell Cavalli. Just Charm broke away well. Silent Trek comes out running. Treadwell and James Fryer are right there as well. Chop House George forced to go wide into the turn. Meanwhile, Spinning Sound is down at the rail in the black. Five off the leaders. The pace is decent early. Low gear power races towards the rear, followed then by Harleen, a big to do. And Royal Vision is the trailer. Good 12 off this leader. Three quarters to go, and Just Charm taking a hold of the bit and just sprinting away now. Couldn't be going any quicker for the distance. Just Charm just bolting away, opens up to lead by six lengths now. Chop House George is on the outside of Silent Trek, it joins second, in behind that comes James Pryor, then back to Spinning Sound, up alongside of Spinning Sound. We drop back here to a big to-do, and inside of that comes Royal Vision. 
They run past the half mile, and in fact, the leader is heading to the three eighths. It's just charmed, and just charmed has opened up to lead by nine as they go into the turn. Silent Trek is in second. Chop House George, spinning sound on the far side. They followed by Treadwell, who's ridden along. James Pryor just behind the leaders. Then we come back to low gear power, starting a late run now. Royal Vision, a big to do, is also winding up late. They come to the top of the lane and just charmed now. Very weary on the lead. Just charmed slowing down noticeably now. In the center, Harleen has come with a big run in the red colors. And it's Harleen going to go on by down on the inside. Low gear power coming with a late run too. And late is Royal Vision. They come for home. Low gear power, Harleen. Low gear power will win it. Low gear power won it. Harleen was second. Royal Vision third. A big to do. Finish fourth.